All right, guys, today I'm going to show you guys a very fun setup that you can do with Riffin that I've been really enjoying recently. Um, so the setup is Grasp as the main keystone and then taking Shield Bash, Bone Plate, Overgrowth, Transcendence, and then taking the Gathering Storm. Now, what happens as a result um, for those people who have only seen like a few times? Um, the idea of the setup is slightly different from Conquer. The idea is that you stay in combat with the creeps as much as you can, so you can keep the grass procked at like all times. And then you want to focus on short trading. So you can probably get the picture of grasp. Um, Conquer is consistently good for, you know, long term fighting and maintaining it. Um, where grasp is focused fully on short trades and empowering those. Okay, not bad for them. He's got bone play, which is super smart. I want to go for that CS over there, but I can't, fortunately. He doesn't have the bone plate right now, so the next one I'm gonna win it. There we go. It's gonna Q again. Want to mix up like another auto in between, but. Okay, I could have technically like flashed that one and maybe tried like getting the kill, but I'm actually very glad I didn't because it could have been a fair chance that he just rocks away because of the auto animation. Smart guy, like the reason why he's still alive now is because of the bone plate. He might actually eat here, which is fine. It's about three minutes now, so Grace could be topside. Ooh, smart guy. He popped the E so he could avoid the damage. So we're going to go back to base, and we're going to go for a longsword. There we go. Let's walk back. I'm going to TP this one. So we've already proc my grasp about four times, which is really good. Wow. What a cheesy one. Oh, he got baited so hard. <laughs> he got baited so hard. Oh, that Dion. Oh, man. That Graves is a joke. Like, he actually baited so unbelievably hard for that one. It's also partially, like, Yone's fault for positioning like that. But I think, like, the communication in both Yone and the Graves has been kind of bad there. <laughs> like, this Yone was staying for Graves and Graves was backboarding. And, yeah. If I was that Yone, I would have probably done the same thing. I would have probably walked up and tried. Because you never know, like, you never know what the Grace play is going to do. I would have probably pulled the same thing. Alright, let's get back. So now we got Fage. So, so far we proc my grasp about five times. Usually, um, in other matchups, um, let's say that you are facing off a Shen, which is a great example. Um, you can consistently proc your grasp like loads of times because Shen typically always moves up for a, you know, for a CS and doesn't really have an ability to avoid you. You know, that's why you can proc your grasp like several times. But yeah, in this case, we're playing against Yone, and this guy is like constantly keeping, uh, keeping a distance between us. So, it's a little bit harder to like proc the grasp here, but it's still pretty good. Like, it generally just depends on like how you. Um, uh, it really just depends on how you trade. It's gonna go for the cannon. Watch. No one can resist the cannon. Wait a second. He's gonna W. Oh, 
go for a trade, backing out. He's probably going to press E here. Yep. And you're dead. Yeah, so you, the trick against Yone is pretty simple. It's very similar like the Yasuo matchup, but except like you play like slightly differently. Um, you just have to bait Yone into popping his E. And then once he pops it, you simply position yourself towards the place where Yon is about to be, right? If he falls back. Like, Yon must... Um, in order to beat Riffin as Yon, you gotta, like, avoid the damage from Riffin. But also, like, auto and Q at the same time. If we position ourselves and we force ourselves into the position of Yone's E, like, it doesn't matter what he does, but he will eventually, like, teleport back to that spot and you will be able to kill him um, pretty easily. Race was here again. He was topside. He's gonna push it and he might get plates, possibly. No, he's not gonna go for plates. Cool. All right, now we simply hold it here. So yeah, we're just going to focus on stacking the wave now. We want this wave to build up um, as big as we can so that we can push it into Yon. For this game, I'm going to max my W after a Q. Watch this. Chaos does not seek friends. He seeks annihilation. Now I just take it easy. The bigger the wave gets, the better it will be. We're getting Silas topside. Here it comes. Whoops. We can just dive him under tower, so it's it's good that Silas is down here. This is why you stack waves, for this reason. Because the bigger the wave gets, the easier you can dive. And especially with like a guy like Silas here, it's good. <laughs> yeah, see you later. I love it so much when Yom players are like eating away from you. <laughs> it doesn't work. It really doesn't work, man. My truth is unbreakable. Awesome. Not a plate. And now we back off. I'm just gonna leave the way how their tower is right now. You don't have to touch it. I tend to like get like a lot of questions in regards of like why I do this. Um, let me just explain that. So um, let's go for long sword here. Let me just explain this. If you leave the wave like this, right, and you have the option to take the uh, to take the tower here, right? What you can do is keeping the tower here, forcing the wave to push into the tower, and then just leave it. Because if you hold the tower, it's going to kill the whole wave, and like Graves is not going to get the XP. So it's going to be very, very worth it. You know, that's why you want to walk back. You know, in certain cases, you don't have to, but in most cases, this is what you want to do. the grass. You missed it, bro. Oh, you're dead. Thank you. Yeah, that guy's finished. And now we take the tower. Or before we do, I'm just gonna 
Once again, I'm just going to push it in. I'm going to make sure that Yon is going to lose all the farm there. So that he's going to fall behind even more. <clears throat> he should be alive. And he's walking down here. We're going to kill him. He's going to walk past here. And now we die. Walk away. Walk back in. Get the tower. And you're dead. Ah, this game is settled. Seriously, this Yoan is out of the game. This guy is not coming back in the game anymore. Yeah, that's right, Graves. This guy is like, he can do anything against me. Bait. Oh, never mind. I have to shield for that. I was gonna bait and maybe try and kill him, but I had to shield. <laughs> this Grace is backporting right here. He he was there actually. <laughs> I love that he was trying to like chase me down. Let's go for this stuff. Um, instead of going for this, wait. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for distance, actually. That's better. Oh, I thought he was going to push it. Whatever. I love how, like, everyone's always talking about the uh, 10, 10 death power spike. Whenever I face up Yasuo or Yon, it's always the topic of the, of the chat, man. Always. You know, I'm not gonna lie though. Like, there's some. Um, it, it's it's always fascinating playing against Yasuo uh, and Yon players because somehow they always make it work. They somehow always go 0 and 10. You know, in some kind of way. You know, even if they have like. Uh, even if you're hard winning the lane against your own, they, they still like tend to like fight you. No matter what. I mean, in my, in my opinion, like it's better to try as Yasuo or Yon to try and get something done in lane if you're already like 0-6 or something. But yeah, usually it's just straight up in thing. What is he doing? Oh, we got him. Yep. Thank you both of you. Appreciate it. We can get jungle camps now. We'll get the red buff. Yep. Now the red buff is for me. I'll take the red. Let's get this camp here, and then we get the golems. All right, let's get this one. Hello, Nami. Hey, this guy wants me pretty bad. Hold on a second. Uh, she does have exhaust advantage. We gotta be careful about the exhaust. I think he has it. Yeah. 
Well, this game is going to be a challenge. Like, it seems like we're going to be in a battle. Like, who's going to snowball this harder? Because Kai'Sa is currently on 7 kills as well. And she has the exha exhaust advantage against me. So... There we go. That's tense. The next item we're going to go for is going to be a Sterex Gauge. Um, but before we do, I'm going to get a Grudge. So I can slow this Kai'Sa. I'm just going to be walking straight at Yon right now. See if I can uh, kill him. I think he's going to overextend for even more farm, I think. Okay, he walked the other way. Let's push this out. Uh, quick questions. Why are you going for Starek's Gauge? Well, they have like a lot of all in against me. I If I get Starek's Gauge, it's going to fix all the issues. That's going to push in. Cool. We have like a a pretty clear, sweet, like double uh, double farm advantage against Yon as well. <laughs> this guy is way too far behind. Nothing down here. Distrust Milan. I'm assuming someone's going to go down bot soon to try and farm this up. Not bad. Oh, wait, never mind. Okay, apparently he's not killing him. Wait a second. I'm really impressed with how this is turning out. It's actually <laughs> kind of in the favor of them because I got CZ for like so long. I played it slowly differently. I should have just popped the um, pop the Yasuo first. Oh, there's no tower here. Okay. Nah, they probably got vision. Exhaust them. Oh, you should. <laughs> yeah, <Karim> kicked Isa <laughs> out of me. <laughs> I mean. I, I understand Hecker for doing it because otherwise he could never reach out to them. But man, you just you just kicked like Kaisa straight out of me, so I couldn't pull my damage anymore. <laughs> you know, if if Hecker was like mega fit, like twenty and zero or something like that, it, it's it's okay. You know, I just kick him out of me and just kill him. But I had like the main damage here. Like, uh, for instance, just like pop the hacker on me and just walk around Kaisa, and it would have probably been good enough, but. That's like a thousand gold that Kaisa had. Just for free now. This world balances on the edge of my blade. Oh, I, I bet you they probably already stole it. Yeah, they did already. All right, let's get let's take care of that ball lane. Let's just push that all the way. 
This one, this game is going to be challenging because Kaisa is hard to catch for me because of the exhaust. It's going to be hard to do. Let Yone. Uh, let's see if we can kill them. She has no exhaust right now. I will find them all. Seems like they already have vision here. Uh, yep. Wards. Even more wards. Gotta get someone to defend bottom lane. I mean top lane for Yasu. Silas here, uh, although it's not going to work. We just got to get someone to defend top lane, that's all. There we go. I'll take care of myself. We don't have anyone defending topside. So like Morgana can do it by her, uh, by uh, himself. Nope. Gotcha. We're losing nips now. If I go for a backboard, like, it's gonna be too late anyways, because I have to walk all the way up there and they could just run, so it's better for me to stay. Oh, man. They're actually dying. All of them. Oh, my whole team died. Well, that is... Probably going to be the game, then. Okay, luckily not. Like, my team survived it. You're dead. This guy, we have way more dashes. <laughs> Thank you. Let's push this out all the way. He is his own master, but also his slave. I think if we just maintain this for at least a little while and we get like one single team fight off, we can probably uh, maybe get Baron and maybe turn around the game, I think. If we have the push and we go for a good TP, we could maybe make a difference too. The problem is that Kaisa has exhaust and that's also the only reason why we're not winning those team fights. Wow. I bet you, like, they're still chasing me. Oh. Alright. Let's go back. We need one more. There we go. Team's grouping up. Awesome. I think they're doing Baron, possibly. It's not really awarded, I think. I want to push top lane and get it all the way into the tower, but if I leave my team alone, they will die. Rises to conviction. 
back to med. Let's push it out. Oh, that's an unfortunate one. If he had the proper ultimate, I could have killed all of them. Good. Not bad. Not bad. It's going way better than I expected. Luckily, we had a, a Rachenka to clear up the uh, the bush. Okay. Guy will ult. Ah, we can't stay for that one. If we ch we we could like jump into Kaisa, if she has no exhaust and kill her. But if she has flash, which I'm unsure of, I don't know if she has it. Uh, yeah, we're gonna waste like a free Guardian's Angel. So. So far with my grasp, we procced it about 23 times, which is very little. I was really hoping to get more this game. But that's all we have. It's not bad. It's it's pretty doable, but um nice. it's hoping to get more this game. But TP, we, we have like TP the whole game through. Can't really use it. So the game team pushing. I'm gonna hope here that my team is gonna make the right one. Because I got TP up. I don't wanna miss this opportunity. I wanna see if I can force Yone top lane. Don't fight it, don't fight it. Oh, the team's fighting it. That's so unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. Okay. I've had the best push in the world. And it sucks that I have to leave that now. Okay, you're dead. Push mid team. If we all run top lane now, the full team going top lane, I think we can just end the game, to be honest. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, not bad, not bad. If you kill him, that's it. Well, no problem. Thank you, Graves. <laughs> well, 
<laughs> That's how we win. <laughs> That's how we win. Unbelievable. <laughs> Harried. <laughs> Either way, guys, this is Riven Top Lane. Thank you for watching today's YouTube video. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.